Hi friends, welcome to GMK Tutorials. So in this video, we will see the operation or principal operation of the principal operation of amplifier. Principal operation of sorry oscillator. Principal operation of oscillator okay so let us see the what are the possibilities for this one okay so generally you know that in case of the amplifier okay in case of the amplifier amplifier the if you are considering the feedback amplifier okay if you are considering a feedback amplifier obviously some amplifier gain will be there as well as some feedback network is also there okay some output is connected to the feedback network and again this is connected to the some adder okay here some input response r of t will consider so i will consider this a c of t is a response so in this case for the negative feedback we know that a closed loop gain okay closed loop gain pharma is equal to acl is equal to i will consider a by 1 plus a into if you are trading this feedback is equal to beta a beta so this is for the negative feedback but in case of the oscillator we are using the positive feedback okay if the positive feedback is used in case in used in amplifiers then a closed loop gain becomes as how so in case of t if positive feedback if positive feedback is used in the amplifiers positive feedback is used in the amplifiers therefore the closed loop gain okay the closed loop gain the closed loop gain g i will call here af okay a closed loop gain completely i will consider as a af therefore that is equal to a by 1 minus a beta suppose if you you have to select the components in case of the feedback okay components are selected in the circuiter that is very important here the components selected the components components selected are very important let us see that circuit diagram the components used in the so oscillators are a oscillators are selected such that such that that must be a beta value is equal to the components are selected such that a beta must be equal to 1 this is also called as a loop gain okay if the loop gain is equal to 1 therefore a a f becomes infinite let us so therefore a f is equal to a by a by 1 minus 1 therefore a by 0 this value is equal to infinity that means here loop gain is infinity so if the loop gain is infinity means that there is a some possibility of the output will be there in the circuit therefore if the loop gain is infinity it which implies that the circuit can generate the non-zero ac output even with the input signal is zero okay so that is a very important consideration okay basically if you see the circuit diagram okay so which implies that infinite loop gain implies that which produces the which produces the non-zero 
non zero output non zero output even even with zero ac input ac input so that is a very important one so let us see the how the block diagram of the this oscillator let us see the block diagram for this one suppose if you are trading this block diagram, obviously we, are, we know that uh, very this is nothing but a amplifier i will call as a amplifier like this i can represent this is the output side it is connected to this some feedback network output is fed back to the input here i will call this a v naught that is equal to A into VI. So generally I will consider VI is the input for this one. Okay. So this is the positive feedback consideration. This is generally called as a feedback network. Okay, feedback network. As well as this output can be treated as okay. Output is can be treated as VF is equal to okay. VEF is equal to feedback voltage. So just so some variations should be there. Okay, fine. AF is there. So therefore VF is equal to feedback output is equal to output is equal to beta into okay. This is beta is nothing but feedback coefficient in the network as well as beta into V naught. Okay. So that means V naught means the part of the output is given as a feedback to the input signal, right? So that's why it is equal to Vf into beta V naught. So we know that generally, so from this, which implies that Vf is equal to Vf is equal to beta into beta into what is the V naught value? V naught value is equal to A into A times of into input signal. Therefore, Vf is equal to A beta into Vi okay it is also very important okay it is also very important that means output to feedback voltage is equal to a b times of input pole if suppose if a beta value is equal to 1 what what happens therefore feedback voltage is equal to input voltage that means feedback voltage value is equal to input voltage okay so for that purpose it is a it produces a repeated output so let us see the some of the considerations here okay due to the noise okay why we are considering that means suppose if there is noise some due to noises in the circuits some input is appear appear in the input vi input vi suppose if the input vi is applied to the amplifier obviously it amplifies with some constant value at the same time that is given to the feedback network again feedback network is also amplified by the postponing terminal therefore some v naught is generated so when v naught goes through rlc feedback network it gets multiplied with some factor okay therefore if ax becomes as a xi okay so this is the some important phenomena okay so for that means so if the input is there obviously it can be that means the main thing is nothing but if you are providing the input to the amplifier okay amplifier are multiplied with some constant i will consider a into vi again this input is given to the feedback right so this feedback network is also some coefficient I will call this a beta, right? So it is also multiplied Vf is equal to beta into A times of input signal. So for that purpose, the comp even if it is generated, compulsory that input voltage must be equal to feedback input voltage. Only the possible consideration that means feedback voltage is equal to the input voltage when the A beta is equal to 1. This is also called as we can call as a loop gain. Okay, loop gain must be equal to 1, then only it produces the oscillations in the circuit. So that is the main engine. Where beta, what is meant by beta? Beta is nothing but a frequency dependent. Okay, the condition is frequency dependent, where beta is 
बीटा इज फ्रीक्वेंसी डिपेंडेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी डिपेंडेंट the condition a beta is satisfied for only single frequency okay this a beta value value is satisfied for single frequency okay so this is very important okay i will consider it as the f not so why this uh, beta is nothing but how can you get the beta value so this beta value is a uh, find out with the help of a some components or c components or whatever the components are used in the feedback network so because of it is a frequency dependent right so so that is nothing but a brief introduction by where uh, how the uh, oscillators are going to be working with the help of a feedback network as well as a loop gain why the loop gain is must be unity so these are the some consideration right so let us see some more assumptions in this case okay so condition a beta is generally called as a back caution condition this is also one of the important bit what is the condition what is a a beta is equal to 1 a beta or beta a is equal to 1 is called called back caution criteria Barkashan criteria. It is one of the most important bit also. Okay, so as the loop gain is complex number, as the loop gain is complex number, the condition of the loop gain implies that suppose if the loop gain is a, let us see some of the assumptions. If loop gain is a complex number if the loop gain is a complex number the condition for the unity loop gain is if the loop gain that means obviously we are considering the loop gain must be equal to 1 right so in case if you are trading that that loop gain must be equal to 1 there is a some consideration is there then only it produces the uh, continuous signal in case of the oscillations so here see the possibilities for this one if the loop gain is equal to 1 at the same time if the loop gain um, means that here let us consider some of the assumption that assumption means sir if the a beta it is a complex number generally complex number can be treated as a mod of okay modulus of a beta value must be equal to 1 this is also one consideration second consideration is nothing but the angle okay the phase angle of phase angle or total phase shift okay angle or phase angle or total phase shift total phase shift is must be must be 0 degrees or 360 degrees or else 2n pi okay at f is equal to f not okay f is equal to f not so let us see the some of the wave forms related to the beta value if the what happens if the loop gain value is not unity what are the consequences suppose the wave forms are appearing like this if the beta ab beta value is less than the sign, the wave form is decaying okay the wave form is like this suppose beta value a beta value is equal to 1 at that time which produces a constant it is also called as a undamped oscillations okay it is a decaying right so treat this one in terms of equal that is a very important so let us say i will draw the under wave form it seems to be not good right
okay so this is the waveform okay so this is nothing we can call as a undamped undamped oscillations okay so this is generally called as a damped oscillations damped oscillation so thought criteria is nothing but if the a beta value is greater than one means sir it is exponentially increasing okay it is a increasing order it starts with very lower value it approaches to the maximum this is the growing ex growing oscillations growing oscillations under da damped oscillations undamped oscillation it is also called as over damped we can also call as a over damped over damped oscillations okay so these are the some of the points related to that one when the a beta value is greater than 1 amplitude of the oscillations increases identify indefinitely or theoretically so practically amplitude increases up to the maximum value and then becomes as a constant okay so amplitude continues to the increases as long as output remains sinusoidal or as long as transistor remains a linear okay in case of the amplitude increases continuous continuously increases as long as the remains sinusoidal or transistor remains in the linear position then only it increases the up to the marconi so these are the some of the important considerations okay if you are seeing the a beta value in terms of the practical consideration but a beta must be unity equal but if you go to go for the practical considerations this uh, a beta value is slightly greater than okay a beta value is not exactly equal to 1 it may be slightly greater than 5 to 10 percent due to the some reasons okay it must be 5 to 10 percent variations in the one value because of the some of the reasons that reasons are okay practical this is the practical consideration the practical applications a beta is not equal to unity so why this is happening like this means sir the reasons are amplitude of the oscillations can increase up to the maximum value okay because of uh, in case of the uh, growing oscillations or maybe exponential uh, and over damped oscillations the amplitude value is also increases up to the certain maximum voltage only so due to that reasons the amplitude value a that means the loop gain a beta value not exactly equal to one in the practical applications because of the following reasons are there that is nothing but amplitude of the amplitude of amplitude of oscillations amplitude of oscillations can increase okay can increase up to maximum value up to maximum value beyond that one it maintains some constant value second consideration is nothing but any accidental decrease in beta or a does not make the loop gain less than one okay any accidental decrease decrease in beta value or else a value does not make the loop gain less than one okay it does not make the loop gain less. that means if the a value or beta value change in an entire obviously loop gain decreases but it is not possible uh, in case of the practical applications immediately so those are the two reasons of for a beta is not equal to one in case of the practical applications in case of the amplifier so let us see the what are the applications of the operation amplifier so this is a 
application. So why? Because we are using this uh, amplifiers basically oscillators. These oscillators are used for different application. It is applications of applications of oscillators. So let us see what is the first application use it to generate a clock signal. Okay. So which uh, oscillator means that which produces the signal without taking the any input signal. Moreover, the uh, frequency of the signal is maintains uh, each and every interval of a interval of a waveform. So that means uh, it maintains uh, some constant signal, constant amplitude and constant frequency signal. Therefore, that kind of the signals are used for a clock signal. Therefore, it is used to use it to generate use it to generate clock signal where we are using uh, clock signals are used in different applications like uh, in our computers also we will use the processor clock is also there processor clock also used moreover it is used in the local oscillators local oscillators or receivers and TV, TV receivers like this. Okay, so these are the some of the applications of the oscillators. It is also used for generating the different kinds of the waveforms. Not only sinusoid, it can be used for different oscillations. It is also oscillators used in the DPL, digital phase lock loops for generating the clock signal or local oscillator signal. Okay, these are the some of the oscillator applications of the operational amplifiers in the real time cases most of the applications are used in the electronic application to generate a clock signals and maintaining a, some synchronization with the corresponding output signal to process the sequence of operations so that is the uh, main intention of the oscillator so this is a, just a brief introduction of the oscillators regarding the principal operation and applications of the operational amplifier so thank you for watching gmk tutorials thank you